If you've been trying to use ChatGPT for your private healthcare practice, but you're not happy with the output you're getting, you're constantly having to spend a ton of time repeating prompts to make sure it stays focused on your target market, your type of practice, your services, then listen up, because in this video, I'm gonna walk you through and do a screen share of how you can essentially save your work and all the details about your practice, your target market, so you're not having to constantly repeat those things every time you use ChatGPT. You're gonna essentially be making your own chat Chatbot within ChatGPT for your practice. Hi, my name is Jared Carter. I'm a physical therapist, a successful cash based practice owner since 2010, and the creator of the Private Pay Profit Formula. I help my colleagues just like you to create their own concierge, out of network, or cash based practices so that you can end reliance on greedy insurance companies, provide a level of care you are ultimately proud of, and reclaim your profits and your future. So if you're new here, do consider subscribing because I put out free trainings like this all the time, and they always have a free resource associated with them designed to help you get results faster. And the free resource for this episode is my Chat GPT guide on how to save hours on writing blogs, social posts, and any type of emails or content for your practice to get more patients and have more impact. And you can download that free resource at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 36. Okay, let's dig in. So here we are at ChatGPT, and I'll say right now that to do this right now at the time of this recording, to create your own personalized chat bot within ChatGPT, you do have to be a, you know, a subscribing member. I think right now it's about $20 a month. Totally worth it. Um, if you're not a, a member or you're using it for free, um, this would be, you know, a great reason to consider upgrading. It's going to save you a lot of time when you implement what I'm about to show you here. And I have to constantly reproduce a lot of, of prompts and, and be repetitive in what you, you know, say to the GPT. So I already created my own, you know, Carter Physical Therapy copywriter, but I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch just to show you how it's done. So I'll hit, I'll hit explore and then right here, create a, a GPT. So it's very, very quick and easy. So we'll just say practice marketing copywriter example. And then we got description. Oh, okay. It's content for private, say, in this case, PT practice or physical therapy practice with cash-based patients, and then instructions. So in, in this part, what I want you to do, and you might want to you know pause this, and if you haven't already created this, but you're going to want to have some sort of ideal patient avatar, you know, a, a detailed description of your ideal patient, of your ideal customer. And you can kind of, I'm not going to read through this whole thing, but you can see how detailed I get with it. You can pause and read what, what ours is, what they really want, and we'll syn synopsis of what they really want, and also some of the common roadblocks to getting treatment. Then in your GPT, you are going to instruct it, and I'm going to go ahead and hit pause just to save us some time, and put in the instructions so that you can then just kind of copy paste those. Okay, so here I'll just read through this I wrote in. This GPT will act as an expert marketing copywriter for a physical therapy practice and will be primarily used to create emails, website content, marketing material, video scripts, etc., aimed at getting its target market to say yes to the practice's services. Below I will provide a description of our target market and the type of person for whom you'll be writing and persuading. I will also upload a number of emails, blog posts, and other written content to get a sense to give a sense of writing style and tone to follow. I also added this in because in my other one, every time I was giving feedback, it was changing these instructions, and I wanted to make sure that it didn't change and take away the description of the our ideal customer because I want that to be up in there in the instructions. It's always relying and going back to that detailed description. So you, I would I would suggest you do the same. You write something similar. Then you're gonna put in your, your ideal patient, you know, avatar and, and description, what they really want. Let's give this you know, a really short description of what they ultimately want. And then most common roadblocks or reasons, you know, to getting treatment or reasons that they wouldn't say yes. Okay. So now that that is in, and you can also, if you're typing this out, you can hit that just to have a little easier thing to, to read and see there. Upload files. This is where you're going to click 
and go ahead and upload any past emails that you, you really like, blog posts that you really like. If you want to give a sense of your tone and, and writing style, you don't want it to just pull from, you know, the, the, the general, you know, internet and you want to give it a sense of what you've written before that you really like and you want it to follow that, then you can go ahead and write and do something like that. I would, you know, I have probably 10, 15 documents at least. They have to be PDF formatted or PDF documents. I think it limits you to 20. So if you have a ton of stuff, you might have to combine you know, certain things together, maybe like a series of blog posts or a series of emails into you know, if you have a ton of different files that you wanna add. So now we'll go ahead, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave those out for now. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. You, know, you can have it for only you or anyone with a link. Let's do that. And now you have a practice marketing copywriter example you know again the downloadable free resource for this uh, particular episode you can get at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 36 and that's going to help you to then know how to actually guide your personalized you know chat bot here in gpt to create those emails to create the blog posts to create the things that you want to to put together fast and effectively, I mean, this is, it's amazing the output that, that it comes up with and, and, you know, compared to what most clinicians would create in terms, especially in terms of marketing and persuasive writing, it it's going to kill most of us. It's certainly better than I am, but, you know, to get specific guidance on that and how to prompt, because getting it to, you know, produce the output that you want does often take follow-up prompts and, and there really is an art to prompt engineering. So definitely check out that free downloadable at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 36. But just for fun, let's just do a quick example of, you know, how we might utilize this. Let's say, you know, please create, again, we already asked it to be an expert copywriter, so I don't have to put that anymore. Please create an email that starts with a story. I'm big on story-based emails about taking my children to the zoo for the first time and then email will weave into the call to action for my reader, which is past patients, patients sorry, to take us up on our discounted offer on a springtime movement and injury prevention assessment. So I hope this emails find you in great health and spirits. I want to share a personal story. It recently gave me profound insight into health and well-being. Sometimes I believe you'll find quite valuable. Last weekend, I had the joy to take my children to the zoos, yada, yada, yada. It's really good. Painting these cool, this cool picture. As we moved around, I observed the agility of these animals. And then in our busy lives filled with uh, demanding careers, family often sideline this crucial aspect of our well-being. That's where that's where we come in, blah, blah, blah. So I love story-based emails and I used to spend time, you know, taking real stories and, and weaving them into my call calls to action, uh, you know, to, to come in for a free consult or to click through to do whatever, you know, call, write, reply, whatever the case may be. And now this is so good that we can literally say, hey, start with a story about this and weave it into our call to action for this for this offer. And and as you can see, less than 60 seconds, we have an email that is not going to I'm not going to copy paste and send this, you know, as is. But I'm about 95 percent there and probably, you know, I'm not going to be able to improve vastly on it with any major edits, you know, when it comes down to like what is proven to get people to act and to, to be persuaded and, and to take you up on your offer. I mean, ChatGPT has just billions of more data points than we do, even if we've been, do, you know, working on copywriting for years, which as private practice owners, most of us have not. So this is just, just shows you a quick example of the power of what you can do once you've loaded it, especially once you've loaded it with that information specifically about your practice and about your, you know, your, your past content, as well as of course your target market and ideal customer. So again, if you want more training on exactly how you can prompt and, and, and kind of guide it to produce the best possible outcome or the best possible output, go to drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 36. If you have any questions on this, any comments, please leave those in the comments below. If you have any friends or colleagues who could benefit from this, please share. Thank you as always for joining and I'll see you in the next training.